Welcome to Digital Art 101 Bootcamp by Nifty Tribe, powered by Athen Blockchain Group in collaboration with Bob Labs and Adobe Express. This is a Figma digital art tutorial. All right, okay, so um, first of all, I think I should just go to OpenSea first and then just show you what I did on OpenSea before just going into uh, going into Figma to start the creation. So this is it. Uh... Mm. Well, I can't find it here right now, so I'll just go to figure out where it is. All right, so this is the collection. This is um, my first NFT, is the one I created. It's, it's not really nice, but out of curiosity, I decided to look um, try it out and see how I can generate 1,000 unique NFTs. So if you can look at it here, this is... Um, I think this one was not to 1,000, this was about 100, but what I uploaded was about 1,000 uh, 1, NFTs, unique NFTs. And so, um, I'll just create a new file. First of all, if you have um, if you have your system, if you have your laptop, you would have to download your Figma into your laptop. And you would do that by going to figma.com. Let me see if I can just walk you through pigma.com. And when you get to figma.com, you uh, get started. I already have an account, so I don't want to download again. So when you get here, if you're using a MacBook, you click here. If you're using um, a PC, you click here and you're going to download it into your system. You can actually use it both for, you can actually use it, download it onto your, onto your machine and use it as a desktop app, or you can also um, access it online, all right? So when you when you have installed it properly, this is how you, this is what you're going to find. This is the interface. This is where you're going to get to. And then when you get here, first of you click for you to begin to design into the main design interface. You click here and to bring you here and to load up this design interface for you. All right, so here we are. So this is the Figma interface. So um, first of all, um, the different tools that you would actually need. This panel here is your elementary where all the elements that you're working with, oh, the layers panel, sorry, the layers panel, where you, all the layers you're working with, this is where they're going to be displayed. Uh, so let me see something like, um, let me just create a rectangle. So you can see it's showing here. So if I create a circle, it's showing here as well. So this is your layers panel that shows all the um, elements that you're creating, that you're working with in Figma. All right, so this is your layers panel. And here you have your, your, frame, your frame tool. 
basically i forgot to say uh, tell you that uh, figma is a product design tool but you can basically use it to do any other thing that you want to do from graphic design to any other kind of design you might want to do but it's um it's specifically designed for um for product design which can still use it to do any other type of design you might want to do so this is your frame tool so if you're clicking on your frame tool it will show you all the frames that's if you want to design for um, a laptop a phone desktop stuff like that watch and stuff so you can just come here pick a particular frame this is an iphone 14 frame you can click here as well again go back you can see iphone 14 pro frame iphone 13 mini frame and stuff like that so you just have to click whichever frame you want to use and then you start working on them so if you're designing for the designing um an interface for a for a if you're designing an app a mobile app you would have to pick a mobile frame to work with all right so that's that so also this is for uh, if you want to design for desktop screen macbook um pro 14 just click here and comes onto this um panel and you start clicking your stuff putting things and start designing you know creating stores and all that so this is basically how most of the softwares and apps that you're using this is how they were first um designed before they were being developed all right so that's that so i'll just take this out i'll just click on them and then delete press my delete key so also this is your shape tool um yeah your shape tools are here you click here at this top here and it to show you the list of the shapes you can they have here so you have the rectangle you have line you have arrow you have um the circle or ellipse tool you have polygon you have star and the rest of that so i'll just click here to get my rectangle i'll click here to get a polygon i'll click here to get star All right and this is my that's that for the shape tool you can you can actually you can actually um manipulate these shapes you know you can actually increase the counts here so if I come here to this point where I have this um, circular point here showing up, I can click and hold and then drag up and then I can actually change the, give it more sides. So this is, um, so, okay, this mo this is a, a, a triangle. So now we have a square, we have a pentagon, we have a uh, heptagon, hexagon, nonagon, and the rest of them. This is an octagon anyway. So you can actually manipulate it from here. And for here, you can actually manipulate the radius of this, um, of this triangle. You can see what I'm doing here. All you have to do is click here and hold and drag, all right? So please, 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 if you have any question, do not hesitate to just call my attention and then I can always go back to explain again, okay? so this is that that's that for a triangle so for star you do the same things for star i can actually increase the count of these stars by just coming down here when i hold it you would see i have there is this um when i hover down here you can see this um you can see this you can see it shows ratio here it shows count to show you the the number of um, sites it already has so you can actually click and hold here and drag upwards or downwards to either increase or reduce the number of counts it has so so far as i'm in, um, press as i'm dragging it can increase it to seven eight nine all right i can change the shape of this star and all that and if i come here to this other point i can also manipulate its radius by rounding its corner i can do this if i come here ratio i can reduce this 
I can also scale it up. All right, so that's basically that for the shapes. And this is the, um, the text tool. So the text tool, I just click on it and then I can create a text box and I can start type, typing my text uh, pretty small. So my text is very small, so I can come to this other panel here. These are the proper, um, property panel. I can come here and increase the size of this text. Can increase the size of this text. I can as well um, change its font width to extra bold. I can, um, let me see what else is actually important. Okay, I can also change the color. This is the color panel. Click on it, you can change the color. This is where you can change the color. I have the color panel here. I can actually do this to change color. All right. So you can just come in here and play with the colors around here. All right, here you can actually create gradients and all that stuff, but we, we're not going to go into that today because we don't really have a lot of time. All right, so um, let's see what again. So here we have the hand tool. Uh, it's not really important. We have the comment tool. It's not really important, except you want, you're trying to get into UI UX, and which is not what we're trying to do here. All right? We're just trying to create um, this um, art. All right. So this comment tool is actually used to um, Figma is actually a collaborative software, design software. So you can actually share your files with your team members or your your clients and whoever stakeholders. All right, and they can actually go through the file and then add comments to your design, tell you, okay, look, uh, you can change this, change this, or why is this like this and all that. So uh, this is why the comment tool is here. And we have this component, you can use this to create components. And anyway, all these parts are not really important, but I think the most important part you would need to know for this um, bootcamp would be the shape tools, all right, the shape tools here. So, um, I will just dive straight into it and let's create an, an art that we can actually use as an NFT, then see how we can generate um, something similar to this, all right? How we can generate some NFTs. So first of all, I want to create a, let's see. All right. All right, let me pick something at random online. All right, I think let's go with this. So yeah, another thing, um, if you want to import a document or a file into figma all you have to do like for instance if you go on the web like i just did you can just either copy you just right click and then copy the image go to figma and paste and you have the image there it's actually very simple to do i think figma is the only tool i've seen that can do this it's actually easy to it's actually easy to um, import images and files you can also go through, there's another method you can do that. You come here, uh, you come to the shape to come to place image and video, click here and then to bring you into uh, into your your file, your, your local, your machine. And then you can now select which folder you want to get the image from and then upload it to Figma. Well, I actually find the copy and paste <laughs> actually find the copy and paste um, method easier. All right, so let's do this. So I'm going to try to replicate this image so that we can generate different, um, 
unique NFTs from it. So let me just see. Let's go. All right. So all right. So first of all, I'm trying going to try. I'm going to um, create the the face of this guy. So what I'm going to do is this face. The face is uh, it's an oval face. So it's somewhere I can I should use a. Um, I should use an ellipse tool to create it. So I'll just I'll just come here and click on this ellipse tool here, and then draw this. All right. And another way I can do that is to just um, press the O key, letter O, on my keyboard, and then I just let me just do that. So one way is by coming to the shape tools, click here and come down to ellipse, click on it, and then you can now draw your circle. Another way, which I normally prefer, which is also very fast, is um, use of um, shortcut keys. So I'll just press the letter O on my keyboard and I can just start drag, dragging it to create the circle, right? um so let me create an overhead hmm. all right let's see are we all following hello guys are we all following yeah yeah all right okay all right so um so i'm going to double click into this um uh, into the circle to to make some adjustments. So I'm going to double click, sorry, triple click, so I can make some adjustments to this circle. So I can have that head like shape. Okay. I think this is okay. All right. Okay. So this is it. So I'll create this and I'm going to also try and create its eyes, the eyes here. So for the eyes, um, I'm going to use circle as well. So I'll come here to my shape tool and click on ellipse, bring the circle, the ellipse um, shape. And I'm going to draw the eye. So I want to change the color of this first circle. What I just did here, okay. So after creating this first circle, I still need to create another circle. So I don't have to go back here to click on this part here, go back to the shape, the shape tools panel, the tool, the tools panel to look for the ellipse tool. All I have to do is come, still use that um, particular shape, hold down my alternate key and drag, click and drag, and then I'm going to duplicate it. I think for Mac, it's option, hold down your option key and then drag, I think so for Mac. All right, so, um, so what I'm going to do here, just to make it um, a little bit realistic, um, something close to what's 
our reference. Um, I'm going to change the color to black. Okay, change it to black and then I'm going to select both of them and make them to become a group. Now grouping it makes them become one so you can easily move them around. So all I have to do is um, right click and then, um, okay, then click group selection and it's shortcut key is control G. So I'll just click on it and this has become um, one, it's now one. So I can actually still, I can actually still, um, work on individual um, elements within the group by just clicking into it if i look at my panel here and just click here and it will show me the different um different elements inside of it and i can just choose the one that i want to work on so in this case i want to work on this first, this last one here all right and that's the one i had changed to black and then i want to adjust the size of this other one so i can just come here make a little just very little adjustments then um let me see All right, so, so this is the eyes. I'm going to name the layers eyes. Okay. Is it right? Which is wrong? Okay. I'm going to let the um, layer, um, that particular group in the layers panel so that I can easily find which any of the elements I want to um, any element in case I want to um, work on it or just, you know, do some retouching. So I'm going to um, name it. All I have to do is just click into it and then type when I'm done, I just click out of it and that's that. So these eyes, let's see, I'm going to change the color of these eyes, uh, this gray color here to white. All right and we have um two or two more circles inside of it so i can just come in here hold down my my alternate key and and duplicate this circle i'll reduce the size if i want to reduce the size of this circle i'm going to hold down shift key just to scale it down i'll bring my cursor here and the cursor is going to change to this to uh the the way it is right now and hold on my shift key just to make sure that it is proportional when it's scaling down and then i'll drag it inside if i want to scale it up i could just drag it out and then it become bigger but i want it to be smaller than the first circle which the parent circle so i'll bring it to something like this i think this is okay and i will just um give it the blue color All right, I'm going to copy it again. Give it a white color. Group first, then I'm going to group them back again. 
So I have to group these two. You no, know, I'll just bring it here. Then I'll group everything. Control G. So I'm going to reduce the um let me to make it totally white. Uh, okay. Left eye. Okay, but right eye. Because I've already created one part of one side of the eye, so I, all I have to do is to just duplicate it. So to duplicate it, I would um, hold down my sheet. My, sorry, my alt alt key. Click on it and drag, and I have my. Okay, this is actually my left eye, and this is my right eye. So I have my left eye, and this is right eye. Hello. All right, so I think we're making progress from here. Okay. I think that's um, centralized, I guess. Okay, so now we're going to create the um, the brow. All right. So to create the brow, I'm going to use, let me see which two, what should I use? Um, should I use the line? No. Let me use the pen tool. So I want to click in and do some adjustment to it. So I have to triple click and then I can now play with these points to get a good um, shape. Okay. Let me play with the, um, where is the corner radius? Okay, corner radius. I think this is it. So since uh, I'll just have to duplicate this again to this other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 180. Oh, 
kita di nomor apa? How do I mirror it? Oh. All right, I think this should be just proceed. I can see work on them later. All right, so now, um, so for me to, I'm going to change the color of this, the color of the head, so that I have a realistic color. So that I have a realistic color like this, that guy. So what I can do, what I can do is just simply come here and look for um brown color but it's a little bit stressful so what i'm going to do you can actually come here and choose a color for the face a brown color for a brown color for the face and all that but since i want to go with this particular kind of color so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use what we call the color um the color picker the eye drop color eye drop drop or something like that that's what they call it so i'll just come in here I'll click here. This is the tool. I'll click on it. And I will now come into wherever, whichever color I want to um, pick, whichever color I want to um, copy. Uh, when I see the color I want to copy, I just click on it. And this guy has that color. All right, let me repeat that again. So for me to do that, Ctrl Z first, to go back to how it was before, Ctrl Z, click on, first of all, click on the, um, the exact element you want to change, click on it, go to the color panel, click on it, come here where you have this tool, click on it, and then look for any color you want to copy, and boom, you have it. And then way you can do it, the faster way you can do it is to um, just press, let me control Z. Faster way to do it is just click on the, the first element you want to copy, uh, you, you want to place the color on, then press your letter I on the keyboard. And then when you press your letter I on the keyboard, the cursor changes to that tool, and then move it to whichever color you want to pick and then click on it and then you have that color. Simple as that. You know, with time, you as you continue using Figma, you would get used to using shortcuts, and I think it's pretty faster working with shortcuts. Okay, so um, so we're going to get the nose for the nose. I'm just going to use the I'll use the pen tool here. I'll reduce the size of that. All right, this works. And 
I'll create another, I'll create the mouth, that smile. I'll click on the select tool so that I can work on it. If you're, if you're trying to, if you're using, um, if you're doing art, using any software, if you're doing art, it's always good to zoom in, zoom very well into um, into what you're doing so that you can have a proper sense of, so that you can get the details, you understand? So, uh, does this work? Oh, you get the idea, that's it. It's, it's okay. Uh, I'll just leave it for now. So, uh, so I'm going to create the ears. All right, I'll do this. Nose. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it. No, so uh, I'll name this the mouth. Eyebrow. Mm. Control G. Eyebrow. I'll show you the uses later when we get into the end. All right, so um, I'll create the ears. So for the ears, I'm going to use a uh, circle. So for me to create a circle, sorry, create a circle, I can either press the O key on my keyboard or come here, come to Ellipse 2, then get my circle. Then I can turn it to give it a desired um, look or an angle that I want. Adjust it a bit. Uh, all right. I'll come here and do the same thing here. I'll just duplicate it. Remember to duplicate is um, hold down your Alt key, click on the object you want to duplicate, and drag. Uh, I think it's coming in. Okay. Spot feels like it's too big. So 
So I'll keep it somewhere here. I think that's okay. Then I'm going to now draw the neck. We're almost getting to the end for this first guy. Mm, yeah. So I'll get my paint tool again. So I'll triple click into it so that I can adjust the sides to make it look like our reference. Give it that close look. So I've created that shape. So I'm, I'm not going to um, change the skin the skin tone. I'm going to give you the skin tone. So I'll click on that particular shape I just created. I'll come here to where I have fill. I'll click on fill. Oh, that's not it. This one. Click on fill. And I'm going to change the skin tone. So in my color palette here, this color has been added here. So I can just come in here and click on it. Uh, what happened? Let's see. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm just trying to recreate that neck again properly so that we can
I remove this. I'm going to remove the um, stroke. The stroke is this outer line by, um, around it, the black outer line. So I'm going to remove it because we don't need it. And I'm going to change the color of this skin to the one we have, the neck. Here we go. And I'll bring this guy here. And when I do so, I'm going to Uh, all right so i'm going to create the shirts so for the shirt i'm just going to uh what should i use okay i'm going to use the Let's see which one should I use here. Let me use this and try this. That actually worked somehow. So I'm just going to try and make this work look better.
Uh, let's see. Um, are we following, guys? Hello, guys. Are we following? Yes, we are. All right. So I just changed the color of that. So. Um, let's see. So, okay, for the ears, we're now going into the ears. For the ears, normally, if I'm not using any reference, I could actually just click on this part and then go into this color panel and then look for a suitable color. But since I have the um, since I have the the reference, I could just steal or copy the particular um, the particular color. Before I do that, I have to do something first. Select two. So I'm going to come in here. There are actually two circles inside this ear. Yeah. So I'm going to copy, scale down this other circle a bit. And then let's see. Hmm. 
Okay. I'll do the same thing here. Okay. I'll do the same thing now. I'm going to so these two circles here. I'm just going to create, make them a group, and then name it here here make a group control g to make the group and then name it right here okay so now i'm going to go into the i'll come back to the ear later but for now, I'm going to go into the head, into the hair. Try to create the hair. Let me see which one would be a little bit easy. All right. So for the hair, I'm going to use the pen tool. So much dread this to man. The pen to Should actually be zooming in to do that. All right, so here I'll just zoom in to um, actually work on the hair, make it better. So let's see how to do that. I'll now zoom in and I'll work on this point to make it a little bit smoother. Let's see from here. Okay. Um, what do you guys think? Is the hair nice? Hello yes. guys. It's nice here. So next yeah. time when you're going to when, to when when next you're going to the barber salon, so that means that you can actually ask them to um, give you the same haircut here. Yeah? Is that what you say? Oh. <laughs> 
It's actually nice. Okay. So I'm going to okay, so I'm going to give it a feel and I'm going to remove the stroke. The stroke is this black line, this black outline. That's the stroke. You can actually change them here. So we have the stroke. I can actually click on this minus sign here and move the stroke. And then if I want to feel it, if you noticed before, let me let me undo. So if you want to undo on in Figma, you just control Z. It's basically like most of the shortcut tools, if you if you if you use Word documents, if you know how to use Word document, most of the shortcut tools um, you find on Word or any other place, any other software is the same here on Figma. So to undo is just control Z. And I have removed that few. Alright, so um so i'm going to add that field back again so i come here click here or click on this plus button and you can see that that field has been added this gray line uh, field is here so um actually this this here let me name it this here is at the bot it's at the back it's supposed to be in front so i'll just where is the head okay yeah. I'll just put it here. All right. And then um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see what again. Okay. So basically, I would just work on what am I going to do? I'll just copy the color, the color of the hair. And then remove the fuel, the stroke here. Let me go into that here and try to make it look better a bit. So I'm going to work on these ears now. This part where it still has the gray color, I'm just going to give it that skin tone. I had to select in when I came here.
All right, so the pen tool is not really my strong one of my strong points, as you can see, but I did try so. Um, let's see, okay. Someone trying to say something. So I just had to reduce the opacity of the sediments just to make it. Um, Hi, Amy. Hi. I think there's a question in the chat oh. uh, from Blessing. Okay, for freehand, uh, you when you say freehand, you mean um, the paint tool, yeah? Blessing, you can answer that, please. Well, okay, so maybe, so, so if you, if by freehand you mean um, the paint tool, you basically have to use, um, you would have to improvise and if you're trying to improvise let's say for instance you want to create this this stuff i was trying to create here i think you can actually do that using the ellipse tool so you can just come to here get your ellipse just create an ellipse tool and create an ellipse of um, shape scale down then try to Where is that? Try to play with it from here, from this as um, this part here. So you can actually bend it anyhow, use it to make form any shape at all. That 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 can also substitute using your free hand. That's using pen too. Yeah. So for instance, I can actually put that here. I can actually bring this. Can actually be good. Can actually bring it down here, and it can become my mouth if I want to. All right, so, so you can use that. You you can use the circle, yeah, the circle to do that. You can use you can use any other um, key. 
you can use any other um, object as well. All you have to do is just manipulate that object to fit a particular shape or yeah, it's a particular shape you're looking for. So for instance, I can also do that with this um, this rectangle as well. So you can just play with it. First of all, you have to, when you um, create that object, you triple click inside it and you can play with, um, use this corner here to play with it. Just drag it, try to form whatever shape you're trying to create and you're going to have it as well. So. I think that, that answers the question. If that answers the question, please let me know. Okay, so um, what I have here is not a perfect replica, but at least it's something close to. I think I should make these eyes bigger. Let me make this size bigger. I'll make this one bigger as well. I think I should like this one. This one can also be bigger. So remember, this is a group. So I'll just have to click into it and select each of them because I want to now scale the size of that eye to make it bigger. So I'll hold down my shift key and select the particular circles I want. And then I'm going to scale it to make it bigger. I hope that is the same size. I hope that it, it is. Then I'll bring this guy to, let's see. Let me not just waste my time there. So what I'm going to do now, we have created the basic shape here. So what I'm going to do now is to show you guys how to, okay, so for creating of shapes on Figma, this is basically how you're going to do it. So if you're an artist, if you have a creative side, you, you have an eye for stuff like this, you can basically just jump on Figma and create, if you have more time, because um, the time we have is very limited, you can create something that looks better than this and um, something more elaborate, all right? So now what I'm going to go into right now is to show you how to um, um, how to how to organize your layers in such a way that you can use it to create, um, maybe if you want to create, uh, say, 10,000 NFT collection. When I created mine, I did 1,000 NFT collection, which I listed on OpenSea. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I don't have to. I, I don't have to basically create each of them, each of the one thousand unique NFTs, one after the other. There's a way to do it, and I'm going to show you that. All right. So that's why I'm not really bothered about. Um, let me create. Let me make this okay. Watch me now. Okay, so this is our guy. All right, so we have the right ear, we have the left ear, the eyes, the brows, the mouth, the neck, the shirt, and the head. So we're now going to try, we're now going to organize them properly. So for us to do that, um, okay, I've named them. Let me see, I have the hair, all right. So I'm going to group these eyes together. 
Let me see if I should do if I should hide it. Okay. I'm going to group these eyes together. Control G. Since they are a pay, I'm going to group this. Okay, make it high. Alright. Then ears. I'm going to group these ears together. Control G. Ears. The question. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I think someone um should be reading the questions out for you. I think that will help so that you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that should help. Please. Just we'll, we'll, just reading the questions. So, much. so right, it doesn't that, distract you. Yeah, I don't you. mind reading the questions. All right, please go ahead. Okay, read the questions. Thank you. So, yeah, thank you. All right, so I think the last question that was asked that you saw was when Blessing asked it, asked if uh, so if if you're not good with freehand, how do you draw it? Did you did you see that question? Yeah, I saw the question. I tried to explain it. I wasn't sure what she meant, but when, what I explained, I hope that was what she what I answered. I hope that's what she meant by the freehand. Oh, okay, and then she went on further to ask how to achieve a similar image if you don't just don't know how to draw i think what she's trying to say is you know this image was achieved by creating like a combination of shapes but if you're not exactly sure what shapes to create like the combinations to make to make up this shape how do you go about where do you even start from i think is what she's trying to say because she said but for someone like me who doesn't know how to, how do I achieve a similar image? And then the question... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you just repeat what you just said? Sorry, I lost you there. Can you just repeat the, what you think she said? Oh, I was saying that I think blessing is, Blessing's concern is not knowing how to achieve the image, like knowing what shapes to even start with. Because she's she has said, but for someone like me who doesn't know how to, draw by looking at the image how do i achieve a similar image um i mean drawing by if, having a reference is one of the first easiest way to to be able to draw having a reference picture but if you don't have a reference picture i think that's the whatever comes to your mind is you can actually okay let me see So, um, first of all, if you can't draw freehand, first of all, you have to have, you should, you should have something you should, you're referencing when you're starting out to draw. That would, it's just copying. Try to copy what you, what you see. Look for something and copy, something that interests you, and then try to copy it. All right, so now, if we're translating that into a design, two like this when i started out i showed you how to create each of these shapes and this is basically your um most of the mo most of the shapes i use in creating this stuff here came from this in my polygon my ellipse tool and my rectangle all right so for the eyes i use the ellipse tool all right i created this i had to scale down this one well, let me not do like that so just come here Click on the ellipse tool, ellipse tool, and click here and drag to whatever size you feel like it's okay. You leave it and do the same thing for the other eye. Do the same thing now for the for the eyebrow. You can just you can also use the the ellipse shape to do the same thing for eyebrow. Eyebrow, you just have to click in three times and then use this point, manipulate this point. You can just Manipulate this point and use it to create your eyebrow if you want to. And then do the same thing for the other eye. And for the head, you just have to be placing them, stacking them one after the other. You have to come to this element tree. You make sure that whatever element, the first element, the other element that is coming on top of, um, the other element that has to show on it has to be on top of it. Like for instance, this head here, the eyes is on top of the head 
so that it's visible for you to see because that's one of the things that's one of the challenges you might have you might not notice that maybe the eyes here the eyes is here it's on top of the head so that's why it's visible so if i should bring these eyes down here you can see it again so it always has to be visible all right so you just have to i think for this for this um this illustration we just had here you can just use the ellipse shape to create everything everything here yes you can use the ellipse shape to create everything so all you have to do is just bring out your rectangle your ellipse and this thing and then if you want to create any shape that is not perfect circle, just click into that shape three times one two three and you should bring up all these points here and you can just do stuff like this do stuff like this angle here drag here just create and then you can create a particular shape you want all right i think that should um that should do all right which was the next question so the next question is sushi says so can we create our our artwork using procreate uh, I joined late. My internet really failed me today. Please, can anyone bring me up to speed? I think Oiza has replied to that, but to the question of can we create our artwork using Procreate is what she needs an answer to. All right. So I don't know how to use Procreate, but I know that you can basically to, you can use Procreate to do something similar. I think so, but I haven't used it before. I'm only conversant with Figma since I'm a product designer. And also, I do have that artistic side since I I used to, there was a time I used to, well, let me not go into that story anyway. So, I use Figma basically, and sometimes because of work, I have to use um, Illustrator, I have to use Photoshop, and which other one here? Maybe Canva, but Figma is my strong point, like where I'm very strong at. All those other ones I mentioned, I'm not really, I think Illustrator is next to, I'm also a little bit good in Illustrator, but here I'm good at Figma in Figma. So I don't really know much about Procreate, but I think you should be able to use Procreate to do your artwork. If it is, um, if you're comfortable with it, all right. But what I'm about to show you, what I'm about, about to show you, whatever software you're using, you can you can actually create um when you have done this, um, the next step I'm about to show you, you can use it to generate your 1,000 NFTs or 30,000 NFTs or whatever number you want. So let me just get right into it because we don't really have much time. Or if there is any other question, just go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, Blessing asked again, how does one know what image best fits as an NFT? Or is it just anything that works? All right, let me show you. In case you didn't see, in case you didn't see what I did as an NFT. This is my NFT. It's practically cheap. I called it. The, let me let me just go to OpenSea. Uh, where is OpenSea? OpenSea. Um, I called it poop. I don't forget the name. So poop art, net poop NFT, whatever. I'm trying to Google. Uh, what is the name I called it? Um, okay, here is it. Oh, yeah, here. This is my collection. I call it Crypto Pop Arts NFT. I uploaded them in February. Okay, I think this is the first one I did. Um, up to a thousand of it. This is what I did. So it's basically anything at all, man. Like anything will just come to your mind where it fits to. All right. Basically anything you want to create something. But the 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 funny thing about NFTs is that you have to. If you're trying to sell it, because I wasn't trying to sell it anywhere, I was just curious about NFTs and I just wanted to see how to create it, what I can do with it, how to, you know, since it was 
making waves that period. Maybe now we crypto done send most of us to the village. So since it was making waves that period, I just jumped into it and see what I could actually create. All right. So this is what I came up with. And all of them, they're actually unique. The uh, it doesn't appear. One does not appear two times. It's just once. Uh, this is about 1,000, uh, yeah, 1,000 of them. The second one I uploaded, which I uploaded to, okay, the first one was on Polygon. So I had some, uh, a few cash. I decided to play. I went on, I tried to play with it, send it to Ethereum. I also uploaded them to Ethereum as well. Let me see. Once I uploaded to Ethereum. To well, let me not just waste my time there. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that if you go to OpenSea, you just go and see what people are doing. It's you don't really have. To, it's not. It doesn't have to be anything very spectacular. But the most important thing, anyway, I think, is if you can create an emotional connection to what you're doing. All right. That would make that can make people to like your stuff and want to buy it okay so you can actually that uh, i can actually form a story for that my um nft i could say something like uh, um children in africa suffering blah 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 they don't have place to to site and this project is supposed to raise funds blah 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 there are so many people that are just going on open sea just buying random projects and they just feel like doing humanitarian stuff so they could just decide to like oh this sounds like a good project uh, it's, it's going to they're going to use it to support um, homeless kids somewhere so they will just buy it and then if you want if you actually want to use it to support homeless kids fine if you don't want you can go and flex the money and all that so what actually busted my head that made me try um um NFT was that. Let me show you something. Someone sold this for twelve million dollars. This thing I just showed you now. This one I just created. I hope you can see. Yeah, this rectangle, this rectangle, B square. Someone sold it for twelve million dollars. For real, for real. And I was crazy. Why would someone do that? Why would someone? Okay, so. So it's actually crazy, of course. And then the next one was, I think I saw something like something like this. One uh, here is black, and I can't really remember, but I think it's something like this. I think it's something like this, and they sold it for about eight m. In dollars, that's pretty crazy. All right. So, whatever inspiration you have, just go with it, flow with it, and then you don't know, man. You don't know something can happen. Someone can just be crazy and like, wow, this actually strikes a chord. This is very interesting. I would like to have this. So, come on. So that's that. So, um, let me see the head, the neck. Okay, the hair. So. Now, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to create a background for this image. I'm going to make this, first of all, I'm going to story. So I'm going to make this, um, okay, I'm going to make it a group to see how it's going to look like, first of all. Someone has a raised hand. I think they have a question. What's the question? No, it's it's really silly. I just wanted to say that um, you should, um, you should please export it so that they can use it as a form of practice and they send to the group. And uh, I don't know if you post it on the Twitter page. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. So, so like. When you are doing, you please export so that they can use it as a form of practice and you know, show what they 
what they, what they want to do. Yeah, what they want to do. Thank you. For sure. So I'm going to make this head and this. So this is something I need to do in order for me to be able to um, in order for me to be able to um, create generate one thousand NFTs. Uh, all right. So for the nose, let's come to the nose. Um, the head, I'll make the head a frame. Is the eyes I'll make it so here. frame as well. I'll have to convert all of them to frames. Um, okay. Uh, the, what again, the eyebrow, the eyes, have I worked on the eye? The nose, convert that to a frame, I'll make it a frame. The nose,
As you know, yeah. The mouth converted to a frame. Yes, it's actually, it's actually very, um, I think I have done the ears, I've done the ears, the neck, have I done the head, no I've not done the head, I think I've done the head, the neck, um, You can see that as I am more. It's what's remaining. Something is remaining this tree. Um, I'll bring it here. Right here. I'll drag this guy in here. And drag this guy into the left here. Okay. So I think we're making progress. Okay, so uh, so for the so we start with the um, head. This is the head. We we'll start with the head, which is going to be our base, then the eyes. Where's the eyes? Oh, no. Look at these eyes. So for the eyes, I'll bring the eyes here. I'll duplicate it so just I'll have um, Nose, eyebrow, um, the shirts. Let me see for the shirts. Shirts. Oh, what again? What again? What again? I think the mouth. Mm, let's see. What well, the neck? Did I get the neck? No, I don't think so. The neck. Let me see if I have the head, I have the eyes, I have the nose, I have the eyebrow, I have the neck, I have the mouth, I have the... I think everything is complete, yeah? Everything should be complete. So now, for me to have different variations, like... Uh, 
for me to have different variations like you have in other NFTs, I will now change. I can come here. So I'm going to. I'm going to change the color. I can change this color to say brown. I'll give you this here. Change this to. All right. I'll give them a different skin tone. So for the eyes. For the eyes, I'm going to maybe give different colors of the eyes. All right, so for the color of the eyes, I'm going to change the color of the eyes to maybe also blue eyes. I could give this guy. We don't really have time. I could have, I would have loved to give it say. I would have given it say um, glasses, but we don't really have much time, so I'll just. Okay. I'll give this um, brown, uh, yeah, brown eyes. Uh, here, I would give it. Um, oh, what should I give it? Um, what color should we give it? All right, now give I'm ready. I got ready. Okay. So for the nose, I think we'll just have one nose, just to save time. For the eyebrow, quick. I'll just give it three about three different variations for the eyebrow. I can maybe turn the eyebrow like this. Or let me see what again. Okay, slightly. Shirts. I'll give it two different colors for the shirts. So I'll give him this color. Uh, let me give him this color. I'll give him this color. Let me see. All right, I think that's cool. For the mouth, and then like, okay, for the mouth, let's see. Let's give them some variation for the mouth. So I can try the mouth again, eat the piece. Let me zoom in and then do some work here. Can make it a straight line. Neck and the neck would probably follow each of these. Mm. 
Okay, let's see what that's going to look like. I'll give you the different shades of um, the skin tone I, that I get for the head. Let's see how that goes. Okay. All right. We have okay. Look, yeah, the hair. I almost forgot the hair. So let me cut the hair. I'll pick the hair. Okay, so for the hair, I'll give it different vibrations. Um, something realistic. I mean, this guy, this guy had dyed his hair. And um, Let me give one more variation for the hair. We just do some steps. Let's give me something crazy like that. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I think one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it was, this was too much, man. Okay, so um, so now what I'm going to do is um, uh, the next step would be. Uh, one more, one more, one more, one more. This is going to be our background. Give a black background. I'll give um, mm, what can I use for background? I'll give it this. I'll give this. Please, if you're following, let me know. Right. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to now export each of these files Normally, I would have loved to do this inside of Figma, but the plugin I'm supposed to use, I have to pay for it. And so since um, I had actually exhausted this free trial when I was doing my NFT um, generation some months back. So I have to, for me to use it, I have to start paying for it. So um, there is actually, that would have been very easy. By now we should be almost done, but we still have to do like two more steps. So we'd have to, I'd have to export each of these 
files out of Figma. First of all, so to export it, to export these four layers to background. Okay. Exported that background. I will now export this here. I will. I'm going to select all of them, and then come to export. Let me preview, then I know what I'm doing. Okay, that makes sense. I'll create a folder for each of them here. Please zoom in so that you see what I'm doing. Then I'm going to export the neck. Create a folder for it. Neck. Then next, I'll export the mouth. Next, I'll export the shirts. I have to export them one by one, unfortunately. Shirts. Are they all following this? Yeah. All right, thanks. But I think it's it's been recorded, so if there is anything you don't understand, you can actually go back to the recording. And if there's still something you want to know or you still don't understand, you can always reach out to me on Twitter. I'm always um, I'm always going to respond. Which one was that? I I brown. Okay. The I brown. Hmm, let's see. Brow. Save the nose. The eyes, the eyes, Chico, the eyes. And here we have the head. You would. Whew. 
Wow, I think that's all. Man, if that, let me see something. Let me see if I can use that plugin. If I can use that plugin, I mean, this will be the end of it. We'll just finish it, but the way it is, I don't think we can actually use it. So, but I can't use it. Uh, it's not possible to use it. So what we are going to do now is, um, let's see, just to be sure that everything has been exported properly, I'll come to my background, check background, check eyebrows, check eyes, check. Basically, I think everything is cool. We did it this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So everything's okay. So now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to this website. This website is called mintables.club. That's the name of the website, mintables.club. I think there are so many other websites. Normally, if you're trying to create NFTs here, yeah, if you're trying to create NFTs, most of the NFTs, especially the first set of NFTs that came around that were done, they were being coded, all right? You had to, you had to use script to code it, but some tech people came in and tried to make it simpler for people like you and me that don't really know how to code or don't even know how to code at all to create stuff like this, websites like this, where you can just generate ten thousand NFTs, twenty thousand NFTs, or whatever. So after doing that design, come in here, <clears throat> come in here. Let me start a new project. So, um, what should we call this, please? What should we call this? A name for this? I'm waiting. You can call it the guy. The guy. All right, cool. So the guy has been created as the name of our NFT. So we are going to now create layers for it and now these layers are those um those um and those uh, folders i had created so you're going to start from the most the 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 one that is going to be at the bottom all right so what's going to be at the bottom is going to be the background image so let me go back to the figma file so on the figma file the first thing we have here is the background image and what comes on top of the background image is the face. What comes on top of the face is the eye, the eyebrow, the nose, the mouth, the the ears, the uh, mm, yeah, the yeah, the shirt, the neck. So you have to make sure you have to make sure that they are properly um, they are properly arranged in this in this um, in this website in order for it to generate it properly for you okay so first of all the first thing we're going to have is background for the background um, for the background For the background, I'm going to copy this, all this, put them here. I think that is okay. So the next folder we're going to have, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So we have to be very careful. So the next folder we're going to have now is, um, I think we should have the neck. Yes, we should have the neck next should we yeah we should have the neck first this next to the background we have the neck and then we copy we 
import the neck into this. Then the next thing we're going to have is going to be the, um, hmm, I think the head then. No, not the head. Let's give let's give the shirt, the shirt, the shirt. Yeah. The next one is going to be the shirt. Shit. Uh, we have them here. The next thing we're going to have is um, the I think we should have the head now. Should we? Yes, we should have the head now. Yes, of course, the head. And the head. Now you click anywhere and to take it to your system. You look for the folder where you have the head. You come in here, pick, drop. All right. The next, um, let's see what again. The next one we're going to have is going to be, I think we should have the ears now. Right, yeah, we should have the ears now. Yes, we should we can have the ears. No. Let's have the eyebrow, the eyes and the rest first. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Let's going to finish, please. Bear with me. The eyebrow. So we can't see it because the eyebrow is actually black. The eyes. It's the folder for the eyes. The nose. Nose, where the fuck is the nose, 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 nose. The mouth. What's remaining? The ears and the hair is remaining now, so let's go back. The the mouth, the ears. What? I didn't really need the ear here. It will. Oh, one, two, three, four, four, six, seven, eight. Damn. I didn't bring it in here. That's crazy, man. Fuck. Okay, so I would have to go back and. For real, man, I didn't bring it in here. That's crazy. Okay, so I have to export the ears as well. I'll give it different variations. Hmm. 
A long way to explore the ears. Whoa, this is crazy. So now go back to our oh, fire here, the ears. We should have something for the ears now. All right, we do have the ears now. And now the hair. So, um, now we have successfully uploaded all of them, we're now going to generate, so you come down here after uploading all these files into their different um, folders, creating their different folders and uploading them there, you now click on generate. It's always a little bit tricky here, you would have to do some adjustments, let's just pray we don't have to do any form of adjustment because... Um, Okay, yeah, another good thing here is that you can actually now set, you know, in NFTs um, to, in order for you to sell some NFTs higher than the rest, you have to have rare NFTs, right? You you have to include the rarity, yeah, rare NFTs, unique NFTs in that collection. So you can actually do that settings here. Well, I came here, so I can't really remember, but let me see. Like, okay, yeah, I think this is it here one. So if I want to make this gold color, this is it's here too. So I can make this gold color. Mm, I think I can make it where I guess. Can I? Yeah, I can make it rare. So it's this gold color, I think it's going to appear just once or twice, depending on depending on the number of uh, let me make it 5%. So you can actually set your rarity, which um, which of the feature or, or property is going to be rare, all right? So you can just come to, you can just click into that particular folder. Let's see the, I made the hair, one of the hair to be rare. Let me see which other one should I make rare. Um, the shirt. No, I don't usually make the shirt. Um, let's just leave it. Let's just continue. So let's generate. Let's see how that goes. <sighs> All right, so how many NFTs do you think we should generate? Guys, how many NFTs do you think we should generate? 500. Yeah, 500. <laughs> 500. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's see how that goes. Let's see how that happens. I hope it doesn't take a lot of time. I hope it actually comes out very well. That's a bad time. Because it's <sighs> interesting.
Okay, so when it has finished um, generating it, you it's going to automatically it's going to automatically um, you is it, it's going to automatically be downloaded into your system as a zipped file. So this is it. So I'll click on it and then extract it. You see it's done here. So I'll click on it and extract it. So. Um, Come on, man. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's a question from Blessing on here. All right, go ahead. He wants to know, in a case where one doesn't get the arrangement for the Mintable platform at first, what is the consequence? Well, the consequences of that is that it's not going to, if you don't get the layers correctly in the right order, you won't get the desired results. You can see in this image here, this preview that has been given, we can see that it has actually, we actually arranged it well. So if you didn't arrange it well, maybe, uh, maybe the hair would have been behind the head all right, it should have been something like this. Let's see something like this. Maybe this hair, send it to the back to be something like this. Oh, my guy will be bald. Oh, no. <laughs> He's going to be bald. And maybe this, um, uh, the eyes would be somewhere else, you know, stuff like that. Something that you did not intend, like it's not something you wanted. All right. So that's why you need to arrange it in the right order. You just have to look at your image, look at it properly, and then you know which one is supposed to come first and which one is supposed to come last. All right, so now let's go to our, hmm, let's see how, let's see what we, let's see what we did. Oh, sorry. In that case, like in the case where you don't get the arrangement at first, is that just a case where you can go and just rearrange it back or does that mean you have to start again uh okay so let me just open the images let us see well we tried oh. <laughs> interesting <laughs> so um uh, wow Honestly, man. <laughs> yeah, some of our guys said. Yeah, it's life. Life happens to them. <laughs> life actually happened to them. So this is 500 unique NFTs. 500 unique NFTs we have here. 500 unique NFTs. We don't have anyone that appeared more than once. Then let's look at let's look for that one, the rare one that we let's see if we're going to see it. One more. I think it's going to be very hard for us to see because <sighs> well, whatever man. But this is it basically. So um if you have um if you if we if we have to sit down to really plan this well. You know, because uh, obviously I fucked up this stuff with giving them these faces, this different face. I think that's where most of the fuck up came from, giving them some kind of um, skin tone. All right. So if we have, if we have to, if you have to set, when you settle down, when you learn it properly, you can actually create something that you know looks a little bit more appealing than this. But even at this, you'd be very surprised. Someone will just come up and look at it and like. Wow, this speaks volumes. This this strikes a chord, and then he's willing to give you like ten thousand dollars and be like, "What?" It happens. So, of course. So this is it. This is the, these are the images, and it also gives you the metadata as well. When you're trying to upload it to OpenSea, OpenSea is going to require the metadata for these images, and so this is the this are the metadata for it. So all you have to do is. Um, you have created your NFT, your images, and you have created the metadata as well. It's remaining for you to upload to OpenSea, and which is um, 
I don't think that's something we have to cover today because that won't get you on Wahala. You would need a little bit of um, coding. When I did mine, I had to I had to buy a script. I had to buy the script from this guy from um, from Sri Lanka, something like that, to do the upload. So, especially if you're trying to upload 500 like this, it's very stressful. So you have to use a script or a code. You use a um, smart contract to upload it. And if you're trying to do it, it's quite expensive anyway. So I had to buy a script. The script is also it's less expensive than um, doing this thing than um, than the smart contract. It's less expensive than the smart contract and trying to upload it manually one after the other because it's very 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 stressful if you're trying to upload it one after the other, right? So let's look at our guy again. Our guys, are we proud of our guys? Yeah, especially the fair ones. Especially which ones? The fair ones, no, the dark ones, those black. <laughs> All right, okay. So, I think I'll just have to, yeah, this is it. They're a little bit pixelated, which is sad. Uh, but it's okay anyway. So this is it. This is I should have actually used um, a higher resolution to export it to so look sharper, but it's okay. So this is our first NFT. If you have the strength, you can decide to take it and upload on on OpenSea or something. I don't know. But this is it. All right, so um, so far, do we have any question, please? I am open to take any question. Yes, please, can I speak? I don't know whether you answered that question that or is that asked about, is there a way that we can like go back when you- Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so um, if you, let me go back to this. I think if you let's go back. So unfortunately, I don't think these guys have this feature where you, okay, they have it. Okay, cool. So all you can do is you can actually when you figure out how it's supposed to, which layers it's supposed, you can just come here, grab, drag. Okay, drag it and place it in. You grab, place it in the right order you want it, you, you think it's supposed to be. Come now. Just grab, you click on it, you see it will grab, you see that grabbing sign, and you can move it, you can just move it into the proper descent into the proper order and then you can come back and generate now that i have disorganized let me see what it's going to look like so i'm just going to try and generate 10 and see how it's going to look did we enjoy the class yeah 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 really yes. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. God bless you. All right. So, uh, so let me let me let me see let me see the disaster that we have created by changing that order. You mentioned earlier a uh, plugin that you you could use to do this. Does it do this in the exact same way, or? Yeah, the plugin the plugin does. Okay, sorry if I answer that. So you can see that 
when I reordered that, um, the, when I did that reordering, you can see that the mouth is not showing. The hair, let me see. Okay, the hair is still okay. Oh, it's not okay. I think it's only the mouth that has been. Um, that has been excluded when I did that reordering because obviously I think I put the mouth before the head, so the mouth has to be the mouth is definitely behind this head, so that's why we can't see the mouth, all right. And also, you notice that these images are pixelated, so a way to fix that, which I I, I fucked up, sorry, would have been to export it. I, would have, I should have done something like this, come to export, where you have this 1x and the rest of that, I should have given it maybe 3x or 4x, it would have made it better. But that's left for you guys to do now when you want to create it. So your question was, sorry. I was asking if the plugin does this in the exact same way, or does it yes. just do it directly in Figma for you? Yes, the plugin does it into Figma. This is it. This is how the plugin works. So the plugin will just generate those NFTs into your Figma. All right. So, so when is the process, oh, sorry. Is the process just still creating those various duplicates of those layers and then, or how, or does it work differently? Uh, it works a little bit different. So why it works a little bit different? And let me just go back to what we did. So if it's, if it was, um, if I had to use that Figma plugin, and you see guys that are using um, the plugin for the first time, I think you should have like two, you have two, um, and two trials. You can have, you can do it like two times or so. So what you would have done would have been this. So this is what you would have done. You would have converted all this. If you are, com if you are conversant with Figma, there's something with all components. So you would have converted all of this to a component set. This guy, you select all of them, come here, component sets, the nose as well, make it a component, the eye, make it a component, create component sets, the multi I don't do. Okay, the shirts. We create all of them, just convert all of them to component sets. Let me just do it and then I'll show you what you would have done. Component sets. Create this, make it a component set. Component sets, the hair. Make it a component set and the background. Okay, we still have the background. Jeez, man. Oh, uh, okay. Make this component set. When you make this component set, you now come to here. You come to assets. When you come to assets, you do the same thing that we did. So um, in Figma, you just have to come, you have to now start creating, um, try to replicate them using these components. So I will just drag the background first, come here. The next thing I'm going to need would be, I think you can actually do it anyhow in Figma, but first, okay, let me just see background first. The head, you bring in the head. Focus so that I can see what I'm doing. Bring in the head. Bring in the hair. Bring in the eye. Let me see if this is going to be interesting. Wow. <laughs> All right, bring in the shirts, bring in the neck. What's name here, man? 
the ears, it's so big in the mouth, and you just do this and arrange them, and everything is perfect here. So when you do this now, it's actually very easy to order the whole thing, man, if you want to have been also using that plugin. Then you now create a base component now. You now create a base component here. Um, you select everything. You make it a component. Let me change the name to base component. And now, after doing this, what I have to do now is just bring in, run that plugin, NFT generator. So I can't use it now. It's asking me to buy blah, blah, blah. So what I would have just done would have been to just click on this and now put the number of NFTs I want to generate. It will now, when I do that and I'll click on, you can also create rarity, do the settings, everything. Click on generate with rarity and to now start bringing up so many um generate your number of nfts that you, that you want inside figma you will have something like this this is what you're going to have it's just going to come up like this if you want ten thousand, you will just do ten thousand inside your figma file for you and you'd have to just do something like this and export all of them you do this come here export oh i have seven just on seven layers export all of them to your file to a folder in your system and you can actually now go to OpenSea and list them or upload them, whatever. So that is how it's been done if you're using component um a plugin. So if you're if you're going to follow this um if you're going to follow this um this tutorial like go back to watch it and you since you don't probably most of you may have not may you know, have not used that plugin before. So you could just download the plugin. For you to download the plugin, come up here, this year, come to plugins, search the name. The name of the um, plugin is NFT Generator. NFT Generator, this one is not working. This one is not working, but NFT Generator is in there. Um, look for it and then run it. When you run it, when you, when you follow all the steps I just showed you, click on it, come to NFT Generator, click on this base component, run the NFT generator and then impute the number of NFTs you want to generate and you have all your NFTs brother. So that's that. Alright, so uh, any question? Any other question? Is that okay? Did, did you get that? Yeah, yeah, thanks for that. All right, go ahead. So, any other question, boss? Any question for the day? Hit me. All right, I think. Uh... You're so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed um, today's session. Even having joined late, I still learned a lot and I look forward to the recorded um, video because I will po probably watch this more than once. That's how good you were. So thank you. Oh, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Okay, so I think there are some questions here. In case, in, in case we doesn't have, okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you very much. Blessing. I really appreciate. It. I really appreciate. It. And um, thank you, Simi. I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you, Afen. Uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to be of help to, you know, to share my knowledge. And it's really been nice to um, connect with great minds here. All right. I'm really, I'm really privileged at this point in time. Thank you very much for the opportunity. And you can always um, um, connect with me on LinkedIn. Okay. Uh, okay, Twitter. 
Twitter at um, BlackboyMD. Twitter is BlackboyMD. Um, very again, not very much. I needed to post on this thing, Instagram. Okay, let me just add Instagram as well. Because I think I'll start having content over there as well. And LinkedIn. Right. So those are my social media handles. So you can always connect with me. I'm always going to be let's connect, man. Let's let's vibe, let's have fun, let's share knowledge and all that. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much, MB, for a very informative session. I'm sure